In this video, I am going to pull together an outfit or two for every month of the year that could be inspiration for looking expensive. Because really, let's face it, our lifestyle is probably such that we don't need to do it more than once a month. So coming up, you got your 12 months of outfits. Now I'm using myself as an example. There's a few other examples. I'm not necessarily the best example because I don't often go out looking expensive, but we'll see how we get along. Starting with January, and I've picked some outfits that are dual tone and including camel, because camel is a color that makes an outfit look expensive. Blazers make an outfit look expensive and using just two colors or one color makes an outfit look expensive. So here I'm using burgundy and camel and a blazer that brings that more expensive look together. Now, the observant of you will say, oh, there's three colors there because you've got black as well in your belt. That's another point though making a leather work pair. So my bag, my belt, my shoes are black because I didn't have burgundy shoes. So I was wearing some black. Then I wanted to bring the black in with the outfit by adding then black bag. So I've got the leather works as one color and that kind of works. So that's, that was the thinking behind that. Over the top, a camel coat. So I'm not bringing another color in and camel always looks smart. Again, here we've got a camel coat camel sweater, that's one color, adding it with some black jeans. To make it look smarter, don't go for jeans that have got a frayed bottom. Now I wasn't looking for an outfit that was gonna look expensive or necessarily smart. I just wanted a, a, a modern outfit when I was wearing this. So the frayed hem wasn't, uh, you know, something that bothered me. If I wanted to make this look expensive, I would not have chosen these jeans. And then an example I found online is say ivory and black. Then we come on to February and I found this outfit. This is a latte dress. Now again, we've got this sort of camel color with black combination. Dress, I want it that time of year. It's knee length boots to cover up my legs, give me some warmth as well. So this worked. Finding this was my most expensive outfit of other February that I've got expensive looking. So here you go. An elegant dress, I think. An elegant knit dress. So a knit dress in February, in a neutral color with a pair of boots is going to elevate your look. March, it's that trench coat time of year and we're getting a little bit warmer. So I've chosen a trench coat outfit because that again elevates an outfit. And so here I'm wearing it over a, a black shift dress and I have got some little ankle boots that match the color of the trench coat. So again, it's those two colors, it's camel and black. Um, other outfits I found online, jeans, trench coat, striped jumper. Now these striped cardigan jackets are everywhere at the moment. I've got one or two of them. I think a lot of you are buying them as well. And you've certainly been buying the ones I've been linking down below and I'll link down some more for you. But wear those with your dark wash jeans, light wash jeans, trench coat over the top. Perfect March and April outfit. You could move on to white jeans, as long as they're a bit heavyweight, so they're keeping you warm. Add some black, so you've got that transition color combination. And again, that neutral camel trench coat over the top. You notice the handbags in all of these and shoulder bags and crossbody bags are all black. It's that kind of time of year, still in March. And they're elevating the outfit as well. Now here's another one, it's a striped blue shirt, which we're seeing everywhere at the moment. This one's a, an example. And we see, what we're seeing at the moment is these variegated sort. They're relaxed fit and with different colors in it. And I just sort of different blues and so on. And I have linked some before for you to, to shop and you have been buying them, loving them. So I will, as long as they're available still, I will still do so down below for you. Very simple. A pair of jeans, some flat shoes, could be trainers, could be white trainers. Could be your ankle boots still if you want to keep warm. With your striped shirt, with a trench coat, is going to look elevated. But not only elevated, we're talking about modern expensive look. Now we're in April and we might not be wearing socks anymore and we might you know, bare feet as we're wearing our flat shoes and our, we might not be wearing our ankle boots anymore. So I found this one, this is from 2020. And I like this because it's two colors. It's white jeans with navy, which looks classy. And I like the fact I've got a navy floral spring-like 
scarf around the neck as well, filling that gap in around the neck. So that's a third piece I've added to the outfit. And then I've got some Tory Burch flats, which were really on trend around about 2020 as well. Obviously still available, aren't they, those sort of shoes? But um, yeah, so I picked this one for April. But another suitable one for April, again, is mixing black and white. And so this is a recent short sleeve blouse that I've got and some wide leg trousers, although the brand calls them jeans. And both of these items are, are Goelia and still available, so I'll link them down below. This top I have had so much use out of this winter, um, going into spring as well. The trousers I'm gonna get a lot of use out of as we get into that time of year now. And it's been finished off then with a neutral pair of shoes at the bottom. So that's elongating the, the leg. Or another one would be just using the modern crop jacket that's around at the moment that was not going to go out of date. Uh, a light colour and bringing that together with white that's nice and fresh. We've got the two colours. They're both really uh, subdued and understated and that gives that chic look about that colour combination. And then talking about that colour combination, we've got the blue shirt again here in this example with some white jeans. Now there's a sort of a beigey neutral sweater hung loosely over the shoulders. Doing that elevates the look. It's a third layer. You don't have to put your sweater on. You can wear it over, over you. If it's a day too warm for a jacket, if it's a day too warm for a coat, do that. Hang your sweater over and that is your layering piece done. And I like, I love this combination of the white striped shirt in blue and that light beige sweater. You know, it's being used as an, it's being used as an accessory. Plus, if you notice, also, also there's a bit of tan brought in as well. And tan's another expensive colour. And bringing that tan in on the sandals, the belt bag, I think really, really brings that, brings that look together. Another combination, again, black and white for that time of year too. So white jeans combine it with anything black, anything black hand ivory together. But white jeans just with beige is gonna work beautifully as well. And what's elevating this is not only that it's white and beige, it's also the blazer as well over the top. And neutral beige shoes. Now looking at the detail of this outfit as well, the shoes have got a bit of black on them and so close a look is, is shows a black belt and a black bag. It's these finer details that will often make an outfit look expensive and they're simple. You see that from these examples I'm showing it's all really simplistic. Now May and my example in May I've chosen a black jacket trousers outfit with a striped shirt and white trainers. This was, this was simplistic and chic and classy. Another one that would work would be light white jeans, blazer in navy, and your striped Breton, striped t-shirt. That could be just two colours, it could be three colours, but no more than that. Underneath your blazer, that is going to look simple, smart, casual, chic, black with a silk beige shirt also so we've got black and beige again those two colors and then i threw this one in which is a bit of an outlier because the shirt is busy and patterned but i feel that it it's it is also in a way an example of an expensive look for those who want something a bit more maximal than a simple simplistic stripes and so turquoisey blouse and then what makes it look expensive is that the blouse and the shoes match in colour and then the trousers and the bag are black. If I had a belt it would have been black as well and I am using a camel blazer. Now you could also swap out the shoes for shoes in black and that would have been then the trousers, shoes and bag in black. That would make it even more elevated and if you didn't want the busy, more patterned shirt, just swap it for a striped shirt, which we've discussed is already very sort of chic and classy. May outfits online, simple sleeveless black and white top with some white jeans. And you notice the shoes, what the sort of sandals, even if the Birkenstocks, that's fine. So the Birkies, the belt, 
and the bag are black. Sunglasses, black. Simple cardigan outfit, black and white cardigan. White jeans, black top, ivory blazer. Black belt, black sunglasses. And then blue and white as well. And a relaxed fit, straight, unpatterned, light blue, chambray blue, which is uh, fashionable this year with your white trousers. Tan, add a tan belt, those three colors. Tan leather wear with your white and with your blue looks chic, classy, spring-like. Now for June, I've gone for a shirt dress because shirt dresses are perfect for looking expensive in the summer. They're just simple. They're simple and they're classy and in a neutral color. So when I have here, it's years old from Bowdoin, so I've chosen this outfit as an example. And then another classy look is your coastal vibe in neutrals, which is what coastal generally is. So I've gone for a linen, beige linen look here. So I'm wearing a boater hat, I'm wearing the sunglasses, I'm wearing beige linen top that's loose, got a loose casual vibe to it, loose beige trousers. And my sunglasses have got a brown tone to them going with the beige of the outfit. And my, my, my Birkenstocks are a, a brownie tone as well, brownie, beigey, gold, bronze colour. So this was an attempt of my, well actually I didn't make myself, I didn't put this on to look expensive, it was a coastal outfit I was wearing out and about, but actually I think I'd, I'd you know, it's an example. But other examples could be your loose trousers over a skinny neutral coloured t-shirt and then just put a linen shirt over the top, hanging really loosely off off you in a neutral colour like this, like in white. So for July, I've gone a bit for a bit of black and white. So some, because uh, July in the UK is actually not, not necessarily hot. June's often hotter than July. But anyway, so let's say July, you know, so I was wearing, you know, white jeans around about this time of year and um, black tops with, with um, those white jeans. So that's, you know, that expensive looking combination. It's also white linen trousers time of year. So white linen trousers combined with a black t-shirt, again, is chic, simple, simple and expensive looking. Right, for August, I chose a sort of a white column outfit here in with white trousers and some lo loose, loose linen type white trousers some white flat mules, uh, backless mules, and then a coloured jacket to go over the top, that sort of a, you know, sort of the vibe of the summer. It's, um, it's going to stand out in a crowd and people will look, look at it and you might get, be able to put, you know, show the vibe of expensive by how you wear it, you know, strutting your stuff. But then we also have shorts and so an expensive way of looking, so a way to look expensive in shorts is simple beige or camel shorts with a simple neutral coloured bag and a t-shirt that could be plain white or it could just be a simple black graphic on it as I have here. Sunglasses, essential. Watch is going to be essential to fill up that arm space. Now this bag is one that is a trending bag. It was trending last year, it is this year from Uniqlo. I will list it down below. I found this bag absolutely invaluable on holiday. I wore it during the day, during the evenings, it fitted everything I needed it to fit and no more. It was it's perfect for holding your sunglasses, your cards, your phone, um, your keys, hotel room keys, your home keys if you're at home. Perfect size for that. And you can wear it as a crossbody, you can wear it as a shoulder bag, you could um, shorten the straps and even hold it as a handbag if you wanted to. And they do it in so many colours. And this one, I actually... You're supposed to just sponge it to clean it, but I did actually wash it and it came out came out fine. And then there's some other examples I found online. Again, it's sort of like beige shorts and in various different combinations that would work. Notice you haven't got too much in the way of colours going on and you've got the sunglasses. So for September, I picked some outfits that incorporated ivory. I felt that we're moving away from the white time of year and more into that off-white. Right, so this one is dressy joggers and I have got, you know, side stripe down the side which is sort of ivory with a bit of green in it and combines it with an ivory top. That combination would look, look uh, chic and expensive. And ivory on ivory as well would look expensive. Then some online examples, 
uh, cropped jeans, wide leg cropped jeans uh, with a blazer, with a t-shirt, simplistic colours, just your neutrals, your denim plus ivory. For October I chose a skirt look with a turtleneck and a beige jacket. Um, this works because we've got the black in the skirt, we've got a camel jacket and a turtleneck in a neutral colour which we've established all look expensive, those colours. The shape of the outfit as well is an expensive look because we've got the crop jacket that goes well with the shape of the skirt whereas a long relaxed blazer wouldn't go so well with that skirt because you would you would have a mix of the proportion rules. Another crop jacket look, now we've got some black trousers and a striped shirt and then there is sort of a British herringbone style jacket waistcoat that I've used here over a black shift dress and that herringbone material has an expensive look about it so uh, I, I pulled this into the collection too for that month and then this is a very old photo very very old I think I've got all these items still as well anyway. But anyway, yes, a polo neck again. We're back to an o ivory polo neck with some black trousers and red. A red jacket, coat, again, can look classy. We've shown red earlier on in the summer months, but this is bringing it into that, the winter months. So red, ivory, black is an expensive color combination. To look expensive, I wouldn't have used the gray bag. I would have used a black bag. Um, right, and also black and ivory. So here we've got ivory trousers and a black turtleneck, both slightly relaxed fit, very simplistic outfit. So the key here is, I keep saying these are simple colours, simple, um, simple design of the outfit. And I've got black boots because then that's creating that a sandwich. So we've got black on top, black on the bottom. For November, I've chosen um, brown being an on-trend colour and also expensive looking. So brown trousers with black combined with a black top, brown and black cardigan as well. Simple, two colours, simple lines to the outfit, the structure. And then that takes us to December which is a month we often want to look expensive because we're going out places and circulating and mixing with people. Um, so I have got a very simple beige knit uh, twin set I'm using here, or well, twin set in the in the top and the skirt match, and then using a caramel uh, or camel coloured blazer over the top, jacket over the top, and bringing in black. Now the black is in the boots and the bag. Another outfit combining black with beige is sort of sort of um, beige trousers with black jacket, black top. That works and looks expensive too, and all black is going to look chic and expensive as well that time of year. So black trousers, black jacket, black top. If you'd like to see some other ways of how to look expensive, then you'll want this video, which I recorded a couple of years ago.